The Mazda Team Joist IMSA Sports Car Championship squad says it has solved the issues that cost it the chance of winning the Daytona 24 hours. The, that incident occurred approaching the 7 hour mark barely 3 minutes after the sister. Speaking ahead of the Sebring 12 Hours, Mazda North America's Director of Motorsports and Team Development John Doonan said, Daytona was a record-setting moment for us as a program, as well as the records that fell at Daytona. We're really proud of that, but obviously, we're in nowhere near satisfied based on what happened in the race, we had some unfortunate luck. Unexpected luck. But we know exactly what went wrong, it's been addressed, Dunan said he was optimistic about Mazda's chances heading into this weekend's race based on Multimatic's work on the RT24P and the performance the car showed at Sebring last year. The, so, leading into last year's campaign, we did a significant amount of testing in the winter, we showed in Daytona we had the pace in the package, now it's about executing, putting all the pieces together, Tinknell added, if you look at our performance at Daytona last year and how we came to Sebring and competed right at the front the whole way, led the race for a long time, were, right at the front going into the last pit stop. We made a big step forward at this track, we were at the front on Meriden, we could have won the race, Daytona this year was exactly the same. We qualified on pole, ran at the front on Merit. It was disappointing not to finish but we found the issues, we're moving forward, we know the car should suit this track and we're going to try and repeat last year but finish it off in that last stint, share this article on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, email.